in the sprawling countryside of Meadowland, where the fields seem to stretch endlessly under a cerulean sky, a quaint farm nestled between rolling hills and vibrant wildflower meadows stood as a sanctuary for many creatures. Among the barn's lively inhabitants were two of the most extraordinary friends, Sunny, a baby horse with a coat as bright as the sun, and Luna, a baby elephant with skin the color of the deep blue sea. Sunny, with his golden yellow fur shimmering like rays of sunlight, had a spirited personality. He loved galloping across the fields, feeling the wind rush through his mane, and exploring every nook and cranny of Meadowland. Luna, on the other hand, with her soft, powder blue skin, exuded a calm and wise demeanor, despite her tender age. She enjoyed wandering through the tall grasses, her trunk swaying with the rhythm of the breeze, and listening to the songs of the birds. Their bond was immediate and unbreakable. They first met one crisp morning in spring, when the world was waking up from its winter slumber. Sunny had been born just days before in the stable, and his mother, Stella, a majestic mare, nuzzled him gently, encouraging him to take his first wobbly steps. Luna had arrived around the same time, brought to the farm by a kind-hearted explorer named Mr. Thistle who found her orphaned in a distant land. Their first encounter was serendipitous. Sunny was frolicking near the edge of the pond, his reflection dancing in the water, when he heard a curious sound a soft, trumpeting noise. Turning around, he saw Luna, her large ears flapping in excitement as she approached the water's edge. Sunny's eyes widened in amazement. He had never seen a creature quite like her. Hello there, Sunny neighed cheerfully. Im Sunny. What's your name? Luna dipped her trunk into the water, playfully splashing some towards Sunny before replying, Im Luna. Nice to meet you, Sunny. From that moment on, they were inseparable. Sunny and Luna spent their days exploring the vast meadows and woods surrounding the farm. Each day was an adventure filled with discovery and delight. One sunny afternoon, they decided to venture into the enchanted forest, a place they had heard about from the other animals, but had never dared to explore. It was said that the forest held secrets and magical creatures, and the two friends were eager to uncover its mysteries. As they trotted along the path leading to the forest, the air grew cooler, and the sunlight filtered through the dense canopy of trees, casting dappled shadows on the ground. The forest was alive with the sounds of chirping birds, rustling leaves, and the occasional rustle of small animals scurrying about. Do you think we'll meet any magical creatures today? Sunny asked, his eyes sparkling with excitement. Maybe, Luna replied thoughtfully, if heard there are fairies and talking animals here. We just have to keep our eyes and ears open dot as they delve deeper into the forest, they came across a clearing bathed in golden sunlight. In the center of the clearing stood a magnificent oak tree, its branches stretching wide and high, as if embracing the sky. At the base of the tree, nestled among the roots, was a small, shimmering pond. The water was crystal clear, and tiny sparkles danced on its surface. Sunny and Luna approached the pond cautiously. As they peered into the water, they were startled to see their reflections, not as themselves, but as different creatures. Sunny saw himself as a majestic unicorn with a golden horn, while Luna appeared as a graceful, winged elephant. Wow, look at us! Sunny exclaimed, we look magical. Luna nodded in agreement. I wonder if this pond has some kind of enchantment. Maybe it shows us what we can be. Just then, they heard a soft, melodic voice coming from the tree. Greetings, young adventurers. The voice said, I am Eldara. The guardian of the enchanted forest, Sunny and Luna looked up to see a wise old owl perched on one of the branches. Her feathers were a mix of silver and gold and her eyes sparkled with ancient wisdom. Hello, Aldara, Sunny said, bowing his head respectfully. We're exploring the forest and were drawn to this magical pond. 
threatened. Eldara nodded. The pond reflects your true potential and the magic within you. But remember, true magic comes from within and from the bonds you share with others. Luna stepped forward, her trunk gently swaying. We want to learn more about the magic of the forest and how we can help protect it. Eldara's eyes twinkled with approval. Very well, to truly understand the magic of the forest, you must embark on a quest. There is a rare flower called the Moonlight Blossom that blooms only once every hundred years. It holds the essence of the forest's magic. Find it and bring it back to me, and you will have proven yourselves worthy guardians of the enchanted forest. Sunny and Luna exchanged determined glances. Well do it, Sunny said confidently. Well find the Moonlight Blossom and bring it back. With Aldara's guidance, they set off deeper into the forest. The path was winding and often difficult, but they pressed on, supporting each other along the way. They encountered various challenges crossing a rickety bridge over a rushing river, solving riddles posed by mischievous sprites, and navigating through a maze of thorny bushes. Through each challenge, Sunny's agility and Luna's strength complemented each other perfectly. When they reached the river, Sunny leapt nimbly across the stones, guiding Luna with his encouraging whinnies. At the thorny maze, Luna used her strong trunk to clear a path for Sunny, who darted ahead to scout the way. Finally, after what felt like days of travel, they arrived at a secluded glen illuminated by the soft, silvery glow of the moon. In the center of the glen stood the moonlight blossom, its petals shimmering with an ethereal light. The flower was more beautiful than they had imagined, radiating a gentle warmth that filled the air with a sense of peace and wonder. Sunny and Luna approached the flower reverently. We found it, Luna whispered, her eyes wide with awe. Yes, we did, Sunny replied, his voice filled with pride. Let's take it back to Eldara, carefully. They plucked the moonlight blossom ensuring they didn't damage its delicate petals, and began their journey back to the clearing. The return trip seemed shorter, as if the forest itself was guiding them home. When they reached the clearing, Uldara was waiting for them. Her eyes shone with approval as she saw the moonlight blossom in their possession. Well done, Sunny and Luna. You have shown great courage, wisdom, and teamwork. The forest is fortunate to have such brave and kind-hearted guardians. Sunny and Luna beamed with pride. Thank you, Eldara. We couldn't have done it without each other, Sunny said. Eldara nodded. Remember, the true magic lies not in the flower, but in your bond and the goodness in your hearts. You have proven yourselves worthy, and the enchanted forest will always welcome you with Eldara's blessing. Sunny and Luna returned to the farm, where they were greeted with cheers and admiration from the other animals. They shared their adventure and the lessons they had learned, inspiring everyone with their tale of friendship and bravery. From that day on, Sunny and Luna continued to explore and protect the enchanted forest, knowing that together, they could overcome any challenge. Their adventures became legendary and their bond grew stronger with each passing day. And so, in the heart of Meadowland, under the watchful eyes of the wise Ildara, the yellow baby horse and the blue baby elephant lived happily, their days filled with magic, adventure, and the enduring power of friendship.